Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Recently, I've acquired so many clothes, like either I made them, thrifted them, or bought them. Three options here. So I thought I'd give you guys a little summer actually not a little at all a pretty big lofty summer haul i'll start with my favorite thing which is actually on my bed i got this maxi dress this is how it looks from tj maxx yo look at this flower detailing this print is so pretty like i'm obsessed i wanted a maxi dress because we're going on summer vacation to the middle east and they recommend covering your knees and stuff so i was like a dress would be perfect for the occasion and i'll just throw a sweater on top probably i'm really loving the fit it's so flattering and also the material is super like, lightweight and breathable i don't have a maxi dress at all so this is my first one and i'm super satisfied it's from the brand court there were also so many different types of these dresses with different fabrics at the store so a lot of variety and it's just so flattering i really like the smocked look for like the upper half and then it like billows out kind of it also like, layers out i think the dress is like made in a few different parts overall just such a good summer dress the other dress i got was this dress from princess polly i feel like this is one of their signature prints like this blue floral daisy are these daisies i don't know i don't think they're daisies i love this shoulder detail where it like ties up i think that's such a cute way to make the dress more unique this color is also such like a summery color like this is just giving like beach the color and i don't know it's like perfect summer spring type of vibes really looking forward to wearing this i'm like not a big dress person at all so i've been trying to expand the collection before spring i literally had like three dresses total which it's a little lacking but we're expanding the collection and i absolutely adore floral printed dresses this is also polyester so it's pretty lightweight and it does have like an additional layer on the inside so that's really nice Ooh, i think i gotta show you guys the skirts usually people do like tops first but we're going all the way like back around because because these skirts are just pretty good well i think they're really good but I also made them, so you decide. So because we're going to the Middle East, I wanted to get some midi skirts because they cover your knees and everything. And I didn't really want to be wearing jeans in like 80, 90 degrees. Like, I don't think that's a move for me personally. So I actually made some midi skirts. This is one of them right here. We have a lot of fabric at our house. And so I chose this really pretty floral pattern. Skirts are actually super easy to make. I just used this video right here and it was quite simple. I mastered it like... Mm, did I master it? No, I got better at it after like the first time doing it. First time always takes a while. That's how it looks. It also has a slit on the side. It's not too high, but with midi skirts, it's like very hard to walk if you don't have a slit. Like I tried to make it without the slit and I kind of toppled over because like you have no room to walk essentially. The look is so flattering. I think midi skirts are probably my new summer spring essential. I literally love them so much and they just go well with everything. I feel like they would go so well well with doc martin so i'm super excited to wear those or like high top converse oh that would look so good since it is like printed i would wear a solid shirt on top so after i made like the first mini skirt i was just kind of on a roll and then i ended up making two more so this is another one this is probably my favorite one it is this really pretty dainty pink floral wow there's definitely a trend of like florals i think everything i've shown so far are floral also it has like an elastic so it's very like stretchy and easy to put on i also made this belt to go along with it so it could like tie into a bow just give it like an extra pop this is such beautiful material and it's really lightweight i also made a lining on it because it's like really see-through super happy with this one i think it's giving like cottage core the last mini skirt i made was this pink one just a solid color fabric because the other one were like two printed ones so i was like for my printed shirts i would need a solid bottom so that's what we made here it literally is like the same exact concept as the other mini skirts the last skirt in this haul is this one right here it's a brown material this one is really long like almost to the floor long my mom actually made this one this was the first skirt we 
tried to make and it was kind of the longest but it turned out really well it's more flowy rather than like a straight legged skirt and the print is also really nice i don't have a lot of like brown clothing in my closet so i thought this was a good way to add to that the material is also like spandex low-key i'm getting more into sewing and i feel like that's such a good way to one do the whole design process which is so fun to me i love it so much and custom make it it's like kind of perfect it takes a lot of time but totally worth it and of course sustainable and you're saving money earlier this month i tried on my shorts and a lot of them ended up being too small on me so i got some new ones i got this pair of mom shorts from abercrombie they're a bit distressed right here and in the back and i absolutely love this wash i feel like this is my favorite wash for denim i'm really into mom shorts like these kinds of shorts vintage like comfy i think they're the most comfortable and most flattering on me and of course i love high-waisted shorts then i went to h&m and i got some stuff from there i got these paperback shorts in this wash i didn't really have any dark wash shorts so i really like these and they have like cute pockets in the back they're actually from the kids section honestly that's where i find all my steals these ones are also similar i'm pretty sure they're like the exact same just different color they also have the same pocket detailing on the back again from the kids section love that for me these white shorts they're like they just came out of the wash so they're a bit wrinkly right now but i didn't have white shorts either like literally all my shorts that fit were medium wash these shorts are also like longer and more looser fitting which i really like the denim is also really good quality i also really like the frayed edges um that's probably my favorite type of like denim shorts look hopefully they will stay clean because white is always like a tricky color in terms of making sure you don't get anything on it but it would be so good to pair with all different kinds of shirts i also got these shorts in the light wash they are the exact same style as the white ones so pretty much i just got like two pairs of each in different colors these are probably my favorite out of all of them just because this wash is literally perfect and they're just like a summer staple now moving on to tops i went to uniqlo this is just a classic olive green ribbed tee i really love ribbed tees for like solid shirts i think they just make like a cotton shirt more elevated neutral tones for the win i'm really loving this and it's very affordable very cheap very good quality too it's kind of like a sweatery material but also like super stretchy and breathable so i feel like it's perfect for pretty much all weather i also got this shirt this is more like a light brown camo colored i think that's what it's called it is longer so i'd wear this tucked into a skirt probably like with any of the floral skirts i feel like it would be really nice to go with just has a little button down moment here so it's a bit different it's also ribbed as well the next shirt i thrifted from goodwill it's from abercrombie and Fitch and it only costs five dollars so that's a steal in my eyes it has a tie-up detailing here on the side and these sleeves are puffed the print is also brown with white polka dots in general the material is just very flowy made out of polyester i believe with a cinch detailing at the end it looks cropped but on me it's not cropped whatsoever now onto long sleeves i got this button down shirt right here this is oh this is not the kids section i thought it was for a second this is from old navy and extra small got it from goodwill five dollars too it's just a classic blue shirt and i feel like it can go with a lot of my skirts definitely got this one with the mindset of bringing it on my trip i feel like this is so versatile too though and like a staple because you can wear it as a jacket and like layering it or you can just wear it as a regular button-up shirt it's also super light and the fabric is cotton gotta love a good cotton button-up shirt this one is actually from the kids section it is ralph lauren polo size 13 14 let's go my friend fed actually found this one for me at goodwill i love this pattern so much the green against the blue giving such like beach day vibes i definitely wear this one like as a jacket but also it could look good tied up this one is more oversized than the previous one even though this one is the kid size and the other one is the adult size but it's fine the material is also thicker five dollars as well for some polo we gotta love that too thrifting is so much fun i also got these converse these are the high top platform chuck these are black platforms when i like travel i don't really want to bring my white shoes because i know they're gonna get destroyed so i got black ones and the soles are pretty easy to clean so hopefully they will last i really love the platform look it is 1.5 inches and you probably have seen them everywhere i love converse high top in general and i feel like that platform one it gives an elevated look physically but also aesthetically if that makes sense if you're short this definitely adds like an inch and a half which is a lot so in these i'm like five three and a half which is basically five four so 
can I say? I'm a menace. I'm a menace. Nah. I think these will go so well with the midi skirts and pretty much all the outfits. So very happy with these. I ordered them to my place, but they didn't actually come. So I called like three stores nearby and only one store had them and they had the last pair left. So glad I was able to get these because I literally leave tomorrow. And I was like, I need these shoes, but we got them. We got them. So here we are. Last but not least is this wonderful bucket hat. It's embroidered and it's literally so cute. My favorite bucket hat. My friend actually gave this to me for my birthday and I thought I'd show it even though my birthday passed a long time ago. I just never showed it and it's such a perfect summer hat. So love that. Like we already took so many pictures in it and it's just super flattering. It is from the brand A-Lab. We bought, she bought it at Zoomia's. I believe that's how you pronounce the name. That's how it looks. The lighting makes it hard to see the flowers, but it's super cute and I absolutely love it. The only thing is bucket hats do make your hair like frizzy. That wraps up the haul. Let me know which item is your favorite and what your summer essentials are. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you. Travel vlogs coming soon, so stay tuned. Bye.